Hello everybody and welcome to episode 16 of our amazing Arena Root Adventure. Today we should be taking our upgraded red and white starter box deck for a whirl. Before we get right into some games, let's have a quick looky-loo at the deck. It's fairly typical Moros aggro. We've got some Hawks to stick some Mentor counters on. We've got some Shocks and Strikes to fling at your face. We have some janky fresh face recruits because we don't have an amazing collection. Hammer Scars to push damage. Tybalt to stop life gain. And the best four drops available to us, including triple heroic reinforcements. So, without further adieu, let's dive right into some magic. My favourite thing in the whole wide world. What a great day. One more video after this, and then it's time to fail at drafting. Hope you're looking forward to that. S E D. Stupid enemy, die. Tap land for one, and then a flurry of two drops. To potentially stick a heroic reinforcements onto. And then another one. This hand could turn out quite well. This has the best chance of attacking through any blockers that our opponents put up. My kitten is trying to attack my computer wire, so bear with me a moment. You little git, get out of it! <clears throat> Sorry about that. I think. I mean, the Pyromancer doesn't exactly attack well into that rat. So I guess it's him. Double Heroic Reinforcements is pretty strong, we're just one land away from that. Yep. I think I might direct all there. And now, as long as nothing goes wrong, Big old heroic reinforcements attack. Well, one will have to do. Can we afford to go territorial, territorial, hammer skull first? I think we probably can. Just sincerely hope they do not have any more hand disruption to ruin our day. That should sufficiently mess with any blocking they were planning on doing. Any kind of blocks here. No, they could easily have a minus two, minus two style effect. Carnariums and whatnot. Bah. He never once got to heroic reinforcements. Oh. Okay, well, we can still keep pounding face. Nothing stopping that. This angel is a pretty solid draw at the top. Keep the beats coming in the sky. A ritual of soot or something completely wrecks us. Okay, that dreadful invasion is probably going to kill them, and the opponent knows it, and good game. We didn't need our reinforcements. Our troops were enough to stand by themselves. Dang, didn't cast a single red spell the whole game. Up, oh, we'll get there. Match two. Mm. 
idly watching my kittens playing around here. I should probably pay more attention to the fine folks on YouTube. <laughs> nah. Cabrini. I'm going to crush you, Cabrini. One, two, three, four, all my colours. Our dual land isn't a tapped land. What more could we ask for? This is literally perfect. Getting in with Jenny Boy. Laying down some beats. And curving out deliciously. Okay, it's not as for control, that's gotta count for something. Do we want to remove this hero before they get a wall of weenies down? I think we all know the answer to that one. The wall of weenies will really mess with our attack plan here. Sanity, so be it. If they want to go down a blocker to take a swing at us, then they're welcome to do that. Question is War Leader or Benalia and make the Tin Street unblockable? I feel like if they have any spot removal, it will go straight at this War Leader's face. So let's see if we can't force them to use it suboptimally on something much worse. Okay. My opponent's in a fairly precarious position. What have they got? Do they have the balls to attack? Sign of Vengeful Bloodlord. Turn creatures engraved to the battlefield. Pings us for one, gains one. Is this a walker that we're going to have to completely ignore? I honestly feel like it is. This guy here just gets back creatures, he just can't kill creatures. But as a sweeper of any kind, will we be in trouble? But hey, we're playing aggro, when is that not the case? That probably lays down some multicolored spells now. Yeah, that's a good one. Getting all kinds of life, getting some dorks, continuing to bash face with the life linky thieves of sanity. Yep, yeah, that was a pretty sweet turn for them. Heroic reinforcements and some big old knights. Is that our best bet now? I think we can have a big heroic reinforcements turn. Oh, I messed that up. I should have <laughs> turned on the Tinsery Dodge's ability before moving to combat. Well, what are you going to do? Swing with the knights. <clears throat> Get 
get down the dog that can move blockers out of the way, just in time for the reinforcements to arrive. Another hero, gonna have a swarm of one ones to deal with soon. Twould seem. Yep. Being with one. <coughs> Pretty soon our opponent's gonna start flinging our own cards at us, I'm quite sure. chance of counter magic being up, but I said, but here we go. Okay, I clicked on the hero, but the game decided I chose the piece of sanity. Fine, fine. And a shock as well. Yep, it's all going very wrong. we can safely wrap it up there. Yes, we are super dead. <laughs> Soren's good. Give me life links to all your creatures. Pretty good. Right. Round three. Hopefully we don't meet another person with an enormous life-linking army. Okay, we need some more lands eventually, but we have two drops to start us off. Keep. Guess we lead on the recruit because he's the most likely to get in. them. It's a straight up 2-2 two, two fly over 2. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Bant Merfolk or um, just Bant plus one counters I wonder. He's making that Skydiver very large. I think we can just lightning strike it away and then kill the planeswalker. Slows down our board development. Okay, well, right. <laughs> some games are easier than others, and some opponents scoop sooner than others. Round four. Hopefully this match will be a tad more engaging than the last one. Who have you got for us today? Mugen. All red, mana, all white cards. Not good. Now the opposite problem, but at least we actually have some white things to cast. I can play that on two, followed by Benalia. I'm 
sure we can do better. <laughs> or we can do even worse. Well, at least they're not using the Langlois to its full effect. Ooh, bloiny. All the white mana. Is it worth eating one of these Lauer elves? Just to slow down whatever shenanigans they have planned? Or should we wait and see? Well, if he plays anything big off of these, and if he plays a Hydra, battling end could be useful, so we'll hold off. You get Hydra, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> nice knowing you folks. Just to go Tybalt here. You can jump, pick up a Lower Elves, and buy time for Tybalt to make a second new boy. Devil. The acro deck, this matchup ain't exactly going the way we want it to. This, in fact, might be where I scoop early. Unless the deadliness of the hawk can get us there. Go, go, deadly hawk. Our future rests with you. This. There's the enormous four four. Yeah, we could be in a spot of bother here, folks. Saying spot of bother. Another night. Get rid of the crisis. We can pump the hawk, but who do we hit with it? Face or to fairy? In what world do we win this game? <laughs> One where we're playing our opponent's deck and are sat in his chair? I guess. He's not he's doing an awful lot. I don't Let's go for the face. Let's lay down some face beads. Another nasty, nasty walker. Deputy of detention to clean up our tokens. Yeah, that's... Concession time, folks. That's the end. Still, we multi six. And so nothing but hawks. Let's see if Boros and Bully Boys could go three and two, or two and three. Two drops, two lands, go. Hello. I think we'll play another game. We won't get out that one. A fairly nice hand and all. Damn you, sir. Alright, now for some more waiting around staring at a blank screen. It's the quality content you all tune in for. Machine gun. Blah. That was meant to be a machine gun firing, that was a bad impression. 
Mary McGrath keeping this strange, strange hand. <laughs> I'm quite sure why I did. I saw three lands, I saw a one drop, I was like, meh, that do. Something relevant. Well, that does two damage. And will be much better when we bring some reinforcements along. Boop you for two. then well, that might make this right reinforcement a little better. I'll have to get a good chunk of life back. It's that or Phoenix or the heroic reinforcements. No it's not, Michael. You don't have the red mana. Well Charge now, die later. Is the druid train? Trains with a titanic growth. Oh, yeah, fine. Back up to eight, which I like, because we can hit them for four in the air for the next two turns running, so. It might just be enough to win this. Reinforce again, I think. Keep booping in the air. We will need ground creatures to stay alive, won't we? Or do we just win right now? One, two, three, four. Yes, we just win right now. What am I saying? Five, six, seven, eight. I almost didn't attack then. I almost thought about it too darn much. <laughs> Well, we have your machine gun in our opponent's face. Good stuff. And because these last few games have been so terribly brief, let's try and bang out another quick one. Barely feels like the video's started. It's been so uh, quick fire, these games. Arena. Nice quick opponent, keep the punches flowing, yes. Yeah, make us wait a minute and a half. That's cool too, that's cool. Here we go. Plan them happy. Well, I'm in the play queue and pleased. Yep, nothing wrong with that. So I don't have to press plus the turn or anything. Two, three, four, two. Alright, really is an excellent little card. CMC a little too high. Do we swing out with Drillmaster on Pyromancer? Nonetheless, yes we do. I'm down with you just taking four there. I feel like the two one ones that would have been left over would be obnoxious considering our two creatures. Both of Kaya, oh dear. <laughs> yep. Gains three life back. Gets vigilance with Seraph. Yep. None of these are good things. Lightning 
strike A. I'd love to have sorted out that Paradise Druid. Tis not to be. You drill master and just keep on swinging. Lightning strike Seraph and then do the same. Maybe our best bet. He's guaranteed to throw a one drop in the way at that point. Why can't you be one ZMZ less? Curse you, sir. Guess we gotta do what we gotta do when things ain't looking so good. Guess we're hoping and praying for our opponent to make a huge mistake. And to bring all three creatures in front of it for no reason at all. That would be a huge mistake. Didn't he just say tick up to game life? Beats. I guess we're kind of running out of steam. All forces directed at Ajani. Pine gains life. I can't just ignore him, he just sits there and plus ones forever, and we never get anywhere. <laughs> Let's him die. Fine. We're gonna need this battle end for something nastier. Do we have that luxury? I'll hang on to it for now, I guess. that's going to kill us. And now we're in a stalemate where our opponent's draws are probably way better than ours. All of our creatures have to trade off here, leaving us with sweet FA. But at least they didn't gain any life. Oh yeah. And the final play is a totally awesome planeswalker who's going to kill us in two turns. Something with haste? Nope. And Sorin kills us. Good game, opponent. So, Boros, Bully Boys, went two and three. I don't think it features enough power, basically. <laughs> Could have maybe performed better if we weren't casting Hawks and... Cavalry drill masters to our opponents, planeswalkers and things. Ah well. Next week, Celestia Prolifer Life. That's a mouthful. I've been Magic Mike, and it's been a pleasure dying horribly with all of you. <laughs>